I'm Rotimi Famisa. I work as the business development manager with uh, the Federation of African Engineering Organization, popularly known as FAU. Um, yes, um, just as has been discussed during the uh, presentation, food security is a major challenge in uh, most part of the world. Uh, particularly in Nigeria, uh, we do have our own share of the problem uh, because of uh, the militancy issue we have in the north uh, west of the uh, country and the northeast of the country and um, uh, in, in Africa generally Africa is one of the worst hit continents in the world uh, with uh, food crisis because of poverty and uh, issues of militancy and terrorism so our country is not spared yes engineering uh, can help solve the problem and engineers particularly because um, the engineering approach towards solving this problem is one of the things that can help us come out of the problem very quickly. So issues like uh, mechanization, uh, issues like uh, what can help the soil to be more productive and fertile. These are engineering approaches. So engineers are one people that we're looking forward to, to that will help. Africa has um, one of the largest arable lands in the world. And if we're able to uh, go beyond subsistence farming, which is, uh, like was said by the, uh, by the president of the uh, WFP, uh, it's a poverty farming. If we can come to mechanized farming, then through that we'll be able to break this uh, chain of poverty and be able to create wealth, and it will help solve the problem. Oh, this seminar, oh, great. It's a, it's a, it's a wonderful um, um, seminar, and I must first praise the Tunisia people. They've done a brilliant uh, work in putting up this seminar. It brings uh, experts from different fields that will be able to now look at the problem. So... Um, and not be able to provide a solution. So you have an engineering solution, you have experts who work with uh, World Food uh, Program, then if they look at it from all of this angle, even representative from um, uh, World Federation of Engineering Organization, then we'll be able to formulate policy, take action, be committed to it, then we'll be able to share, uh, do a mind share or do information sharing and we'll be able to solve this problem. It's a global problem, we'll take it from Africa, then we'll globalize it.